Welcome to the Kerrville Weekly News for the week ending September 14, 2024. This is Tom Fox, and I'm taking a solo turn today. I've looked at several stories over the past week. The city of Kerrville adopted a $39.7 million budget, and the property tax rate for Kerrville residents did not increase although they'll pay a little bit more in taxes because of higher appraised value. Council had previously passed a resolution approving the proposed budget of $39.7 million and a tax rate of 59, $55.9 cents per $100 of assessed value. Based on the average home value of $343,000, a Kerrville homeowner will pay an additional $45.96 in property taxes this year. Over at uh, Kerr County, The commissioners adopted a total tax rate of $42.33 per $100 of property value following the public hearing. The current tax rate is $0.43, so it went down a little bit. Tax assessor collector Bob Reeves explained that property taxes are broken down into three parts uh, based on the average value of a Kerr County home, which is the Kerrville value of $343,000, Homeowners will pay approximately $1,452 in property taxes this year. Uh, The Kerrville Courthouse is going to get some native plants added to the courthouse landscape, and uh, they've removed the bedraggled non-native plants, and members of the Hill Country chapters of the Texas Master Naturalists and the Hill Country, rather the Texas Native Plant Society, have been adding native plants to the courthouse grounds since 2021. So some native plants coming to the Kerrville Courthouse, or Kerr County Courthouse, I should say. The Kerrville Police Department will be holding an open testing and recruiting event on September 21st at the Dieter Center. The event will allow those who are interested in a career in law enforcement to take the first steps towards joining the Kerrville Police Department. Those who successfully complete the physical and written requirements during the open testing will be eligible to complete the application paperwork and begin the hiring process. Physical testing includes a 2,000-meter row taken on a Concept 2 rower with a damper setting at 5. The applicant must achieve a 40% rating. Those who achieve that will move on to a written test, which is comprised of four sections, math, basic word problems, reading comprehensive, grammar, and reporting. Those who pass the written test will then be given the impulse assessment test, which is a questionnaire which assesses future job performance of law enforcement candidates. The Kerrville, or rather uh, Upper Guadalupe River River Center, hit its first fundraising goal of 400,000. This was uh, needed to purchase the land of 1.6 acres on Knapp Road adjacent to Granger McDonald Park. And the funds will cover both land acquisition and initial site work for the nonprofit transformation project to establish the Guadalupe Riverfront Park and gathering space on the banks of Limit, uh, Nimitz Lake. So that um, project is certainly moving forward. Of course, this week saw 9-11, so I need to say a few words about that. First of all, I hope our listeners will never forget that day and what it meant to America and all of the lives lost both on that day and since that time. And the field of honor was um, created at the Kerrville or Kerr County Youth Center for all of those, all of us to remember those who died on the attacks, the firefighters and everyone else. So it's an important day. America, and I hope you'll take some time to remember it. Well, the one last thing I'd like to mention is the Magnificent Seven. Yes, the Magnificent Seven Rides Again podcast ladies. Their show begins this week at the Kerrville Arts and Cultural Center, the KACC. They will have an opening reception from 2 to 4 on Saturday, and I hope you will get out to see and support our great local artists, I've got two podcasts. I've got the Hill Country Artist Podcast, and we just concluded the Magnificent Seven Rides again. We've got some great local art talent 
in Kerrville and Kerr County. And I hope you'll take this opportunity to support them by going out and seeing their show at the KACC. Till next week, this has been Tom Fox with the Kerrville Weekly News. Oh,